It often happens to people who put out banners. <laughs> And how do you feel about being stuck come, on a pole? Come and stand beside me, William. <laughs> how do you feel about being stuck on the end of a pole, Graham? Uh, I'm doing my duty. I'm being helpful. Absolutely. Um, I'd love an opportunity to speak, but we've been silenced. <laughs> how do you feel about everybody not being able to walk up towards the memorial like all the others met, honouring the memory of their dead? It's a Gandhian moment. There's all the issues, the moral issues are here. Total denial. Yeah. From the Australian War Memorial Inn about the frontier wars, determined denial, and they're backed up by violence, of course. Guys with guns and pepper sprays and all that kind of stuff. And bad attitude. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing this for five years now. These are the most aggressive and rude cops I've met. These particular ones or the Canberra ones generally? Oh, the, no, the, this, the guy here with the, the beard who's trying to make the arrest. He was causing trouble down below as well. He was punching people. Yeah, yeah. He was punching people. Yeah, punching people. Anyway, that's, did you get that's any footage of him punching people? He tries, he tried to pull his taser out. That's when we yeah. all jumped in front of him. Yeah, yeah. He tried to get his taser out, right? This is how off the air is. The first year we did this march, it was negotiated with the, the superintendent on duty, the duty officer of the day. That is the guy, the top cop, who's making operational decisions for Anzac. He came down and spoke to Michael Anderson, right? And then Michael said, no, we're just going to go up there and stand off there. It was okay, right? There was no permits, no nothing. It was all sorted out on the day with the cops, and it worked, right? These guys? You've got to nail them. They shouldn't be here. This is the RSL's march. They're not invited. Sorry. <laughs>